Today we're talking about earnest money when you're purchasing your home in Estes Park. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Julie Abel with the Abel Team, Keller Williams Realty in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. Today we're going to be talking about all things earnest money. So what is earnest money and what do you need to know about it when purchasing a house? Earnest money is your good faith deposit that you provide as a buyer when you put a contract on a property to show that you're willing to move the property forward. Your earnest money tells the seller that you are a serious buyer. So how much is earnest money going to cost you? A good rule of thumb is usually about 1% but it could be a little bit more. You could put more money down to show the seller that you're really serious. So for example, if you're doing 1%, if you're buying a property that's 250,000, um, you would write an earnest money check or send a wire for $2,500. If you are offering $500,000 for a property, you would write the earnest money for $5,000 to go into escrow. This money, goes to the title company and is held for you until closing. Putting earnest money down also allows the property that you are looking for in Estes Park to be moved to active backup on our MLS. This is important because this shows other buyers that the property you want already has a contract on it. This money is also refundable to you if you decide to cancel the contract at any point during the dates and deadlines timeline. The dates and deadlines section of the contract is also called in other states your due diligence period or your contingency section. You want to make sure that you're working with an experienced real estate professional, especially during the dates and deadlines section. Because if you fall behind and miss any of these deadlines and then decide that you want to cancel the contract, your earnest money could then be at risk. When you work with me and my team, we make sure that we're actively watching those dates and deadlines so that your earnest money is always protected. As a buyer, these dates and deadlines will give you an opportunity to review the following. All of the title paperwork for the property, potential HOA documents if it has one, your loan paperwork should you be getting a loan, and anything that the seller discloses to you, the buyer, about the property. During these dates and deadlines, you'll also hold your inspection, get a survey completed on the property if needed, and have your appraisal done. If during any of these dates and deadlines, and keep in mind the Colorado contract has over 30, you decide you don't like what's been disclosed to you or you've found, you've got a couple of options as a buyer. You may decide in the process that you want to work with the seller to get the transaction done. Or you can cancel the contract if it's something you don't want to move forward with. This allows you to get your earnest money back. If you do it during the dates and deadlines period like we talked about. If you don't, then your earnest money is at risk and the seller could keep it because you're in breach of contract. One of the first dates as a buyer you'll need to be mindful of in the dates and deadlines is the earnest money deadline. You will need to turn in earnest money at the time you present the contract to the seller or three to five days once you and the seller both have signed the contract and it's mutually executed. When you start to look at homes, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've already gotten pre-qualified with a local lender. You'll also want to make sure that you have enough money in your accounts that you can write a check or send a wire for that earnest money should your offer get accepted. If you want more information on how to get pre-qualified with a local lender, be sure to check out my other video on that topic in the description below. Let's say now you've gone through the whole process. You've had the property inspected, you and the seller have come to terms, on the dates and deadlines, and you have your financing secured, or you're bringing all of your cash to closing. You are ready for closing day. Yeah! Closing day is awesome. 
remember that earnest money that you paid early in the process will be applied to the money that you are bringing as cash at closing. Hopefully this video has been a good resource for you and has answered all the questions that you may have about earnest money and why it's important when buying your home in Estes Park. If you are interested in more information about the real estate market in Estes Park, I'm here for you. Also, be sure to check out our other videos if you have any questions about buying property in the Estes Valley. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you later. Bye.